I'm Andy, he's Kane, and this is the Q-Line Conversation. Topic tonight, what should they do with American Eagle? Well, they can either leave it alone, as the masterpiece it is, or RMC it many different ways. Well, and, and I think that's the thing we should kind of talk about right now. Well, maybe we should start with a few years ago when um, everyone thought that in uh, 2014 that Goliath was actually supposed to be the RMCing of Eagle. That um, if you remember, at that time, uh, leading up to that event, up to the announcement um, that on the Eagle station, there were signs that said, hey, you know, get your last rides in on Eagle because it's closing for good. So a lot of people thought that Eagle was going to close and be RMC at that point. But then we later found out that Goliath was what they had planned, the brand new RMC. So a lot of people thought it was going to happen then. RMC supposedly came out and looked at it. Um, so maybe in the future here, we might actually be seeing Eagle get RMC'd. Honestly, I don't think it's going to happen. Really? Really, I think it would just cost way too much money to change it. And Great America's not going to do that when they just built an RMC from the ground up right next door. See, I, I kind of think that they're going to eventually RMC Eagle because it's gotten to be so bad over the last few seasons. Um, you know, when they retrack it and it's running good in the hot weather, um, Eagle can be a pretty good coaster. But oh, yeah. lately it has not been that at all. Lately it's been quite the opposite with Eagle... Um, you know, not living up to what it used to be. So I think at that point, I think that's where Six Flags says it's time to um, it's time to change it. And if you look at what Six Flags has done around the whole country, Trademark. is to get rid of their wood coasters. Yeah, they like you see with Roar, uh, Discover Kingdom. That ride is fairly new, built yeah. in 1999, I believe. Yeah, Danny Miller, you can check me on that one. <laughs> um, but. And they're just turning to a joker. No, no really rhyme or reason. But yeah. we figured, hey, we need something in the West Coast, so I mean by San Fran, so let's do that. Well you know that one that one took a lot of people by surprise. I'm, I was even surprised by that. Yeah, that's that was the one that really, really surprised a whole bunch of people. Up it. Up there goes Eagle. And then there, there she goes. Um, you know, and, and so I just think I just think Six Flags is at the point where they just want to get rid of the maintenance headaches. They just want to get rid of. Um, um, we always do red. <laughs> oh, there, is no, red. there is no blue sign. There is no question about that. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah if you ever come here, never do blue. Never do blue. I was going to make the line long. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, so it's like they want to get rid of the maintenance headaches. They want to get rid of all the, the work that goes, the daily maintenance that every single day the guys have to go out, walk the track, nail down boards. That gets to be a lot, actually. And, and, and with a coaster like this, yes. With a, with a coaster like Viper, it's easy to maintain because, you know, it's, it's Viper. It's a twister. You know, it's a cyclone. Um, yeah. So, but this one, is a, there's a lot. You know, I can see that. It's a lot to do. And, and you know what? I think it's come to the point where a lot of people have said that it's gotten to be too bad, uh, gotten to be too shaky, too rough, so it's time to move on. And I think that's what leads us here is that you have all these different options available to us. I think RMC is really going out of their way to um, try out new things. And you look at what they did with Twisted Colossus, taking the racer uh, that, yeah, that, that really, you, you look at something that probably in the Six Flags chain that looked a lot like um, Eagle. And but that, it, didn't, and, it didn't race for no, years. It hasn't raced for years. True. Um, so. But, you know, you take that out of it, and they actually, you know, I, I just did Twisted Colossus a few weeks ago, and that was a really enjoyable ride. I thought it was unique. It was different. You know, um, I wrote it. Before they turned it into Twisted Classes, yeah. it's just original classes, and I enjoyed it, but it needed to be changed. Yeah, and for for the new people, because for what Mesh Mountain is now, Classes does not fit its profile of what that park was. Yeah, 
And, and, and I'll be honest with you, Twisted Colossus is, I have it ranked in my top 20. It's, it's a pretty good ride. When you can get that one racing, there's something to it where when you're flipping over the car under you, it's that's a pretty cool yeah, experience. That's pretty cool. I mean, um, if they can do something like that similar or even better, that's Great America, so it's awesome. Um, to Eagle, then maybe it's the time for change. I mean, well, and I think there's so many different options that you can do with Eagle. You know, there's people out there that say keep it a wood coaster, that you just you just topper track it. The only problem I have with that is that we have yet to see a ride be completely topper tracked. That everyone keeps talking about it, but we've yet to see it actually happen. Um, you know, uh, Twisted Twins down at Kentucky Kingdom has come the closest. They're iron horsing it, but yes. they're essentially keeping the same exact layout. Yeah, uh, they're, that, just, they're, they're not changing the footprint down there. No, they're just taking the, the racing out of it. Exactly. They're making it like, isn't it just one? Yeah, they're making it. They're making it into one. Yeah. Um, and but they're not changing. They're not changing the footprint of the ride. So I find that interesting. Um, so you know, here though, looking at what they do, you could actually, you know, me and Danny have talked about this a number of times. You could actually make it. Uh, be a new gimmick that you could actually have a half wood, a half wood, half steel. So you could do it racing where the one, maybe the red track is a wood track, and then the, the other is is a, is a steel track. Now that would be very different and yeah. awesome. Now a, another option that you could do is you could take it and uh, do the twisted colossus treatment, tr make it into one track. Um, you know, you could just do it all Iron Horse, just yeah. Iron Horse the whole thing and make it into one track. Do kind of what you did out in, at Magic Mountain. That's an option. But then there's a third option that I think is kind of interesting that is even more gimmicky. And that is take making it into a Mobius track, making it into one track, but making it half steel, half wood. Ooh. Because at this point, the RMC track, you can basically do whatever you want with it. And, um, yeah. You know, and, and it's, there'll probably have to be some modifications, but the track is the track. Um, it's going to run on the same wheels, the same chassis, probably. Um, you, you could probably get away with that somehow. And I think if, if Six Flags really want to do that, they could. And that would be a really big gimmick the first ever half wood, half steel coaster. That It's the best of both. I think it's just a matter of time. I mean, if Kentucky Kingdom can make uh, Storm Chaser, and, you know, you know that's just, you know, across the border in Kentucky. I'm saying this like they know that I live in Indiana. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, <laughs> thing, Great America, if they put their powers to be could come up with a really awesome. I, I think they could, and, and I think it's at the point where this park needs a big roller coaster that's going to eat people. Um, and that, that's, that's something Goliath does not do. And, and we all thought Goliath was going to be that ride. We but thought, it's too short for it, it to eat people through. It's too short, and um, you know, when you get down to it, uh, this park is still packed. You know, yeah. we're, we've been rocking around the park all night, and this and is my, this is literally my first coaster of the day. Yeah, and it's two-hour queues on everything, so there's room for expansion here. But people always say, well, they just got a coaster. Um, who cares? If, if there's still people packing the park in the lines, it's time to um, it's time to get something new in there. I think so. Uh, hopefully, that is. Um, Goliath or the changing of American people. I don't know. In my in my heart I would want them to change it. But realistically, I don't think they will. I just You gotta you gotta think logic here. They just built Goliath, it's right over there. Yeah. They're not gonna it's not like a BMF where you can just have multi BMFs. Which we do. Yeah. Um, they're not gonna do that. I, at least I don't think they will. Hopefully they'll surprise me. You know, they did with X Flight and Goliath, kind of. But who knows? I mean, who knows? this is a massive ride, a massive ride that's been here since E1. Yeah. Well, we are next so, in line, so we will see you in the queue lines. You know the ride.